So in last week's video, we talked about the trends that were going to be popular in 2023, but now it's time to talk about the trends that are going to die in 2023. And just to let you know, this is 100% accurate. I've got a crystal ball and it's never failed me. Well, I only used it for the first time in the last video, but I've got a good feeling about it. And also, I just want to add that although I'm talking about these things dying in 2023, that doesn't mean that I hate them. I do hate some of them, but not all of them. And just because something isn't trending anymore doesn't mean you can't wear that item. Just wear what you like. Unless it's a couple of things off this list, and then yeah, I'd recommend that you probably don't wear them. If you like this video at any point, please do drop it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the video. So I'm going to start off with a bit of a controversial one, and I think this one's going to ruffle some feathers, but it's the Nike Air Force One. I know, I know, it's a classic, it can never go out of style, and yes, I agree with you. Now, even though I agree they won't go out of style, and they probably won't for a very long time, I still don't think they're going to be a trending item in 2023. I remember all the way back in 2021 and the start of this year, these shoes were really hard to get hold of. They were selling out everywhere. But these days, most stores will have these in your size, which is a good indicator that the hype has died down on these. And I think most Air Force One wearers have moved across now to the Adidas Samba or another pair of Adidas that looks similar, like the Gazelles, for example. I think the Air Force One's got a reputation for being too basic, so people moved away from them and onto something less basic. The Adidas Samba, because that's not basic at all. <laughs> Even though the Adidas Samba is a very basic shoe, I'm not knocking it. In my opinion, basic is a good thing. Basic items are normally more versatile, so they're easier to style, and they're more likely to stand the test of time. So let's take the Air Force One as we're talking about it now. It's a very basic shoe, and it's a classic. So even though I don't think it's going to be trending in 2023, I still don't think it will look out of place in 2023. It's just not trending as much as it once was right now, but that doesn't mean it's not stylish still. There's a big difference between stylish items and trending items. But while we're talking about the Air Force One, I do think it ages horribly when you wear it. I love the look of them when they're fresh, but after you've worn them for a while, they don't look so great. And I suppose that's why everyone tries so hard not to crease them, because after they're worn in, they don't look so good. Anyway, enough about the Air Force Ones. They're dead in 2023 anyway, so let's move on. The next trend that I think will die in 2023 is the balaclava. So balaclavas. Balaclavas are very popular right now, and a lot of people are wearing them, but I don't know how to feel about them. Sure, they're great in the colder weather, and they keep your nose nice and toasty, nice and warm, but if you wear them out in public, it can give people a bit of a fright, and I don't want to wear one and scare some poor old lady. I think the idea of these is a very good one, but it's the criminals out there who use these to cover their faces who've ruined the balaclava for everyone else. Selfish. But yeah, I think these are a bit of a flash in the pan, and I think they probably will die out in 2023. Of course, if you live in an extremely cold place, then you're going to wear one of these for practical purposes, but in terms of fashion, I think these are on their way to the fashion graveyard. So I want to talk about fast fashion next. So fast fashion is becoming more and more unpopular, and I think you'll agree that that's a really good thing. But these fast fashion brands are doing no good for the environment and no good for your wallet in the long run either, so good riddance to them. But I think in 2023, people are going to start being shamed for shopping at some fast fashion stores that aren't trying to do better for their workers or for the environment. Almost ran out of breath there. People are learning more and more about the negative effects of fast fashion brands, and I think people are starting to get a bit sick of them. But I think the thrifting style has had a huge part to play in this, and I think this shift was very much needed in the fashion industry. I also think people are going to stop buying such loud and in-your-face pieces and focus on buying more timeless pieces instead. I've noticed a lot of the current popular trends right now are focusing on more simple and versatile pieces that are going to stand the test of time. So let's take the vintage style, the gawk core style, and the workwear style, for example. I think even if all of those trends died out tomorrow, the pieces from those trends would still always come in handy, and they'd be really easy to incorporate into other styles. Now, I think a lot of people are going to get annoyed by this next one, but just before you tear into me, just know that I don't have any problem against these sneakers. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But it's the New Balance 550s. Now, I must admit, at first, I didn't like these, but they have grown on me. I still don't want a pair, but yeah, they have grown on me. Anyway, I do honestly think that people are starting to get bored and a bit tired of seeing these everywhere. And out of interest, how do you feel about these right now? Are you sick of them yet? And if your answer is no, then you will be in 2023 because the crystal ball said so. Now, I don't think people will stop wearing these in 2023. I just think the hype around them will die down. But come to think of it, I don't think I've ever seen anyone wearing these out in the wild. I've only seen them online or in the shops. Has anyone else seen anyone wearing these not on Instagram? To be honest, I do 
do spend a lot of my time online, so that might be the reason I'm not seeing them out and about enough. I need to get out there more. But yeah, it's interesting. Anyway, I remember when these used to sell out immediately, but these days you can find them online in your size, which shows that the hype is definitely dying down on these. The next one I want to talk about is the mullet, and there's definitely a strong divide on this one. Some people love them, and some people hate them. For me, I like seeing the mullet about the place. I didn't want one myself, but I liked it on others. But sadly, I think the hype and the excitement around the good old mullet has started to die down. In my opinion, and I'm sure a lot of other people will agree, it was never a style that was going to last, but it made a nice change. At the end of the day, it's not doing anyone any harm. It's only hair. It will grow back. So I think trends like this can be fun to jump on. Oh, and also, while we're talking about hair, what's that floppy hairstyle called? I've heard some people call it the paintbrush hairstyle, or others call it the broccoli hairstyle. But yeah, that hairstyle anyway, I think that's also going to fade out in 2023. Get it? Fade out? Like a haircut? A fade? No? <laughs> okay. The next one we've got are pearls. Now, is Harry Styles the one to blame or to thank for this one? I think he might be. Personally, I'd like to thank him rather than blame him because I really like this trend. So Harry, if you're watching this, I bet he is, then I'd like to shake your hand. But with this one, I actually own a few pearl bracelets myself and I love them. Sadly, my love for pearls is not enough to keep them around and I do think you'll see them in 2023, but I think they'll also die in 2023. But the reason I like this trend so much is because it's pushed men to experiment with their jewelry more. So even if it dies out tomorrow or in 2023, I think it's still done a lot of good. And I think because of this, a lot of men are going to be more comfortable experimenting with jewellery in the future, which I think is a good thing. So moving on, I think it's safe to say that nothing from Balenciaga is going to be trending next year. With everything that's been uncovered about the brand recently, most people have stopped buying from them. It's all very disturbing and more and more stuff keeps coming out about the brand every day. So it's something that's still ongoing. But I'm sure you'll agree on this one and I'm sure you all know about it already and if you don't then a quick google search will tell you everything you need to know and i think the same thing goes for yeezy products as well with everything that's gone on with Kanye recently most people have stopped buying anything that's associated with him next up we've got jordan ones and dunks so just like the air force ones the jordan one and the nike dunks have taken a bit of a back seat recently people got sick and tired of being called too basic by wearing them so they've ventured out towards more exciting things probably towards the adidas sambas or the birkenstock boston definitely not basic at all. Again, I'm not ripping. I'm as basic as it gets, so I have no problem with things being basic. I like basic things. Now, Jordan 1s and Nike Dunks are classic sneakers, so people will always wear them no matter what's trending, but they're not going to be trending in 2023 in my opinion. These will have their day in the spotlight again, and they'll be ridiculously hard to get hold of again, but now is not that time. So if you were thinking about picking up a pair of these, now would be a good time to do it. So next up, we've got the rubber boot. Did these really take off enough to say that they're going to die out in 2023? I don't know, but I'm going to say it anyway. I think these are going to die out in 2023. Now, one of the main styles of these boots that got popular was made by Balenciaga, so we all know why they're not going to be popular next year, but there's loads of other brands that did similar styles too. Now, I don't know about you, but I could never get into these. I didn't mind other people wearing them, but they just weren't for me. But yeah, even if these boots weren't so closely related to Balenciaga, I still think they die out anyway. So do you agree with my list and what would you add to it but if you enjoyed this one please do leave it a like if you're new here don't forget to hit subscribe and i will see you all next week thank you so much for watching everyone see ya